Hello friends, welcome again. And this is my new project eFarmacy system. And I have developed this project in Java, JSP and MySQL. The version for the JDK I'm using is the JDK 1.8. MySQL version is 5.6 and Tomcat version is 9. Also for connecting MySQL with Java and JSP, I have used MySQL connector, which you will get easily from the mysql.org website and you can configure it, right? So this is a web application. So for front-end designing and front-end development, I have used HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also have used, like for formal additions, date calendar, plugin integrations. I have used the jQuery plugins, right? And I am running this project on Tomcat server. But if you have the Eclipse or NetBeans, then you can configure it also. If you know that how to run the project on the NetBeans and Eclipse. I have already a video that how to configure my project on the NetBeans. You can get it on the how to section of our website, right? So let's start with the functionality go through that what we have developed inside this project in eFarmacy system. So the main objective for developing this project is to order medicine online. And this is a mini project which has only and only customer login. There is no admin login because it is mini project, right? In major project, you get admin login as well as customer login but in mini project you get only one role that is a customer or admin so i have developed the customer part only customer can register customer can log in customer can see his order customer can make the order from this system right so let's start so this is the home page of the project you can see this is a simple home page right there is nothing dynamic on this home page this is about project and this is also a static page there is nothing dynamic on it this is all medicines and these all medicines are coming from the database mysql database right so this is a totally dynamic page if you want to filter the medicine according to the type just click on the filter and you can see the medicines medicines are getting filtered out, right and you can see the details of the medicines on clicking on that image this is a tablets. The same options is available here also. You can see, right? The same options is available in the header part. There is a register from here. Customer can register and he can create his account. After that, he will be able to log inside the system. This is a login from where customer will be able to log in and customer can see all of his details, his orders, his account. This is a contact us. This is a a static contact us page i'm not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database even i am not sending a type of email and sms from this page right okay so let's order some of the medicines right so i have ordered uh, this number of five okay so there are two items inside my cart and i'm going to add one more item this one and this one right so there are three items suppose if i don't want this item just click on the delete and that item will be deleted from the cart so this is a cart right when you add any of the medicine inside the cart then it will be added it in your cart right so this one add so there are three medicines i have added in my cart and once you click on the proceed to check out it will ask your credentials so i already told you if you don't have the user ID and password, then you will not be able to log in, right? You will not be able to order also. So the user ID is amit.gmail.com and password is test. If you don't have the user ID and password, then you can register from here. Once you click on the login, then it will ask your shipping address, right? You can enter any of the shipping address, right? So I am entering the average values. Once you click on the proceed to payment, then it will ask your card details. So this is a the static page i am not sending any type of information live even uh, th this is not a real payment gateway it's a dummy page only right you can enter any of the details here any garbage value you can enter right and then cv you can enter and make payment once you click on the make payment you will get your order id so this is order id number 18 right and you will be able to see all of the orders 
all of the order items which you have ordered right so there are three order items total amount you have paid is 99 20 rupees if you want to see all of your orders click on the my orders you will be able to see all of your orders right so this is the last order if you want to see previous orders just click on the view items you will be able to see all of the previous orders details right this is the my account section from where you will be able to update your account details your information your password all this is a dashboard from where so this is the dashboard and from this dashboard you can jump on the menu right so my orders you can see my orders on my account you will be able to see my account section right right the last part is the logout once you log out from the system then you will not be able to see my orders and my account sections because this menu is totally session driven and it renders according to the session right you can see the options are not coming if you log in then options are coming so these functionalities i have developed inside this e pharmacy system and as i told this is a java jsp mysql web based mini dbms project and mini because it has only and only customer login so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate the changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much